ossification it is a process of bone formation having two modes both involves transformation of mesenchymal tissue into bone if mesenchymal tissue differentiates into cartilage and cartilage is replaced by bone then it is called as endochondral ossification bones formed this way are cartilage bones when there is a direct conversion of mesenchymal tissue into bone it is referred as intramembranous ossification resulting in membrane bones now we are going to see about intramembranous ossification in detail how it takes place we we'll learn it stage by stage there are loose mesenchymal cells which become closely packed to form mesenchymal condensation at a site where a membrane bone is to be formed some of the mesenchymal cells lay down collagen fibers in the condensation by this way a membrane is formed probably the same cells which lay down collagen fibers come and lie along the bundle get enlarged and acquire basophilic cytoplasm and hereafter referred as osteoblast these osteoblasts secrete a gelatinous matrix where fibers get swells up and embedded in it this mass of swollen fibers and matrix is called as osteoid osteoblast influence calcium salts deposition in osteoid once this happens osteoid is said to have become one lamellus of bone over this lamellus another layer of osteoid is laid down by osteoblast which then move away from lamellus to line the new layer of osteoid likewise a number of lamellae are laid down one over another forms trabecule of bone some of the osteoblast gets trapped between lamellar layers become osteocytes collagen fiber bundles in a membrane and further bone formation looks somewhat like this here we can see the bony trabecule follows the same pattern as fiber bundles bones of vault of skull mandible and clavicle are formed by the above said way of ossification and hence referred as membrane bones thanks for watching hope you will like my video please share subscribe and comment